Hello students. Mathematics is a subject that is useful for students in every phase of life. It doesn't matter if you are choosing science or biology or commerce stream. Some basic maths will always be there in each of these streams. Thus, it becomes very important for students to have a strong base in this subject. The outset. I would like to welcome you all for beginning of the academic session 21-22. I'll be teaching class 8 mathematics. In class 8, we have got in total 16 chapters. Out of them, chapter 1 to 8 will be in half yearly examination chapter 9 to 16 along with few of the chapters will be there in the final hour session ending examination let us quickly go through what are the chapters which are there in class 8 chapter 1 is rational numbers chapter 2 is li linear equation in one variable Chapter 3 is Understanding Quadrilaterals. Chapter 4 is Practical Geometry. Chapter 5 is Data Handling. Chapter 6 is Square and Square Roots. Chapter 7 is Cube and Cube Roots. Chapter 8 is Comparing Quantities. And these 8 chapters will be there in the half yearly examination are in the first term in continuation chapter 9 algebraic expressions and identities chapter 10 visualizing solid shapes chapter 11 mensuration chapter 12 exponents and powers chapter 13 direct and inverse proportions Chapter 14 Factorization, Chapter 15 Introduction to Graphs, and Chapter 16 Playing with Numbers. These chapters 9 to 16, along with few chapters of first two. Chapter 2 Linear Equation in One Variable and Chapter 8 Comparing Quantities will be there in the session ending examination. I would like to give certain tips to go through the video lessons. The tips are you have to make separate notebooks for each of the subject. Whenever you go through the videos, you need not write each and everything which are there in the video. Make only the important points, jot it down. It's very important that you leave certain margin. Whenever you have a doubt, please make a note of it and mention in the margin left. That particular doubt can be asked through email or through whatsapp i'll be giving you the email for asking doubts you can note the email id the email id is maths 8 numerical abc followed by 21 22 this 21 22 will indicate that it's for the academy session 2021 22 at the right of gmail.com this will be the email id for which you will be sending your answer sheets in future all right with this I would like to start the first topic 
rational numbers. To understand what is rational numbers, we need to revisit the number system which we had learned right from class 6th. So let us revisit the number system. We had used fewer numbers as counting numbers. They were called as natural numbers. Next, in the second chapter of class 6th, we have learned playing with the numbers. Followed by, in class 7th, we have learned integers. These were the number system which we had learned in class 6th and class 7th. In this academic year, you will be learning another type of number system they are called as rational numbers. This chapter will help you understand about the integers, properties of real integers, rational numbers, whole numbers, furthermore how rational numbers are represented on a number line. You will also be able to search the rational numbers between any two rational numbers. We will go in detail. First let us recall what we had learned about natural numbers. The natural numbers are the part of number system which includes all the positive integers from 1 till infinity and are also used for counting purpose. It doesn't include the number 0. In fact, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and so on are called counting numbers. In your higher class, you will learn about real numbers and you will learn that natural numbers are part of real numbers. That includes only positive integers, excluding zero, excluding fractions, excluding decimals and excluding negative numbers. You just make a note of it, natural numbers do not include negative numbers or zero. If you can recall, in class 6, we had learned that to represent the set of natural numbers, we used letter N. This capital letter N is given by the set notation 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and so on. If you observe certain things here, one is the smallest natural number. And there is no largest natural number. We get the next natural number of a given natural number just by adding one and we called it as successor. When we look at the set of natural numbers, can you tell me the predecessor of one? Is predecessor of 1 present in the set of natural numbers? No. The predecessor of 1 is 0 and 0 is not there in the set of natural numbers. So, there is a need to have a number system which includes 
counting numbers along with the zero and we call it as the set of whole numbers. Let's see what are natural numbers and whole numbers. Natural numbers include all the whole numbers excluding zero. In other words, all natural numbers are whole numbers, but all whole numbers are not natural numbers. And we have learned natural numbers are denoted by the letter N, whereas the set of whole numbers are denoted with the letter capital W. In set of whole numbers, 0 is the starting number. Zero is the smallest whole number and there is no negative numbers or fractions or decimals in the set of whole numbers. Let's understand the differences between natural and whole numbers. Look at this table. Natural numbers are defined as the basic counting numbers the natural numbers in set notation is given by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on. Whole numbers are defined as the set of natural numbers along with 0 and in the set notation it is given by 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on. The set of natural numbers are represented with capital letter N. The set of whole numbers are represented with capital letter W. Counting numbers starting from 1 are there in the set of natural numbers. The counting numbers along with 0 is there in the set of whole numbers. We say that all natural numbers are considered as whole numbers. We can say that all whole numbers are not considered as natural numbers. This point number 4 is very important. Let's try and understand the Venn diagram to represent the set of whole numbers and the natural numbers. Look at this Venn diagram. Here there are two circular regions in yellow colored circular region I have mentioned all the numbers starting from 1 they are the set of natural numbers the set of natural numbers along with a 0 forms the whole number so we can write it like this the set of whole numbers is nothing but the number 0 along with all the natural numbers so you can now just identify the whole numbers as a larger set compared to the set of natural numbers. The reason being zero is an extra element which is present in the set of whole numbers. We say that natural numbers are contained in whole numbers and it is denoted by n representing natural numbers the letter c used for contained in whole numbers further when we look at the number line we understand that the right side of the number line we have got whole numbers in whole numbers we have got natural numbers so it is very evident that all the natural numbers are contained in the set of whole numbers the same thing we can uh, read it in a, a reverse order to read this, I can 
read it as the set of whole numbers are contained as uh, it contains the set of natural numbers in the previous way i said that the set of natural numbers are contained in whole numbers now i am saying that the set of whole numbers contains the set of natural numbers hope i have made it very clear let's move on further with another type of number system called integers in maths integers are the numbers which can be positive negative or zero but cannot be a fraction these numbers are used to perform various arithmetic operations like addition subtraction multiplication and division remember friends the letter z is used for representing integers so how do we write in the set notation we have got many negative numbers followed by zero and all the positive numbers when we look at the venn diagram we observe here zero and negative numbers along with the natural numbers are forming the set of integers so i can write letter z as all the negative numbers zero and the set of natural numbers or else i can write the same thing as all the negative numbers and the set of whole numbers we have learned that natural numbers are contained in whole numbers now it's very clear that whole numbers are contained in the set of integers so out of these three number systems the set of integers is the larger set if you remember we had solved linear equation in one variable in class 7th we know how to solve the equations let me take the equation 2x minus 4 equal to 0 how do we find the solution for this equation i can transpose this negative 4 to the right hand side and we get 2x as equal to positive 4 just by transposing negative 4 to the right hand side or else you can say that add positive 4 on both the side we get the same result now dividing both the side by 2 i'll be getting 2x upon 2 equal to 4 upon 2 here 2 and 2 will go cancelled this side right hand side will become equal to 2 so x is equal to 2 is a solution for the given equation this particular solution is positive integer when i look at another equation say 2x plus 4 equal to 0 i have the solution like 2x will be equal to negative 4 on dividing both the side by 2 i'll be getting negative 4 upon 2 in the right hand side hence the value of x is negative 2 this negative 2 is solution for the given equation this particular number negative 2 is again an integer in particular negative integer 
when I look at another equation, say 2x minus 3 equal to 0, the solution goes like this, 2x will become equal to positive 3. On dividing both the sides by 2, I get the result as x is equal to 3 by 2. This 3 by 2 is not an integer. So somewhere we require another type of number system to have these type of solutions. Hence the need for rational number exists there. So we need another type of number system wherein we have this type of solution. The fractions and negative fractions should be present in a particular type of number system. Hence, we get rational numbers as the next type of number system. Let us discuss about rational numbers in the next class. That's all for today's session. Thank you.